right, everybody, welcome to the Studying Brew episode 814. It's good to be in front of all you tonight, and uh, we're going to have a good one tonight because you know what? It's Thanksgiving Eve. That's right. It's uh, Where else would you want to be than with your Kona family as you're getting ready for a uh, for whatever you do on Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say eat turkey, but Brandy doesn't even eat turkey. So what are you going to do? Uh, if you're eating, you're going to eat your tofurkey. I don't know. Tofurkey's gross. That's what I'm going to say. I'm, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not. I don't care if I offended anyone. It's disgusting. Eat, eat something else. Don't eat fake. No, I just don't eat meat. So like, okay. I don't, I don't try to find a turkey alternative you know what carnivores don't do they don't try to make their meat taste like vegetables that's what they don't do anywho all right everybody thank you all for being here my name is andy i'm the guy that runs the back office um i am a carnivore uh but you're not here for me you know you're here for the vegan over here she's got her series 6 63 26 series 65 and her series 7 which makes her more than qualified to teach you all the things you need to know so that way you too can get your license so that i'm so glad that all of you did show up tonight uh we almost were like man should we not do it because i don't think i don't know if people are going to be on um and we're like you know what there's probably somebody out there that people are like you know i got the night off i got time off i don't really want to be in the kitchen anymore i don't want to be around people in the kitchen anymore <laughs> <laughs> i'd rather just go study or go do this thing over here and have a break and we're glad to uh, abide by that and tomorrow you guys are going to have a crazy day and maybe some of you are going to be watching this on the replay we like to be your nice uh educational distraction and uh, so that way you can learn something and maybe get your you know, a little further in your studies, because let me tell you guys, there's nothing more important in this whole process than consistency. Yes, that's it. Con <laughs> if you want to know the number one thing, it's consistency. If you dabble, if you take a night off or you come back and then you take another night off and you come back and you come uh, and you're like week off, week on guys, it makes it way more difficult. It makes it even more difficult because then you got to remember what you learned last time yeah. and then come back. It's better to just stay in it mm -hmm. just stay in it the whole time learn the language get on it and just stay on it that's it mm -hmm. and it, and that'll help you out in so many ways this is a new language it's not kind of like one it is it a is. New language so the more you're immersed in it the better some of you don't have english as your first language and you understand what i'm saying when you were learning this language or maybe you learned another language the easier it was is when you went somewhere where everybody's speaking that language all the time you pick up more. It makes everything go faster. Mm -hmm. So stay consistent. Consistency is key to everything. Key to this, especially key, key, key. Make sure that you stay consistent through this weekend. Don't drop off. Don't stop. I know what's going on. Look, I got four kids. I got all kinds of family. I even adopted family. I got to go see uh, a grandson who's going to in Bakersfield. Guys, I got all kinds of stuff going on. I understand. Like it, it's not like I got, you know, like I got servants over here, right? I've got literally have the stove on. I've got the barbecue on right now. I got like all kinds of things going on and I'm doing this and then I'll be working on other stuff. Guys, I know what it's like to be busy. I encourage the busy to be here with us. Guys, we understand. That's why our program is the way it is. That's why we don't have these 34, 40 hour weekend boot camps. Dude, I couldn't find the time to do that. I don't know how anybody does that. I don't know how they stay awake. I don't know how they stay concentrated for that many hours. That's a lot. That's that's a ton. And I went to college and I'm like, dude, I could barely do it. I wouldn't do it sober. I'm just saying I couldn't do it. There's <laughs> no way I could get through that many hours just sitting there. I'd have to do something because it that's a lot of material to go through. And you got bills to pay. You got rent to pay. You got Christmas coming up. You got kids asking you for new shoes, even though they just got some. Dude, I know what it's like. I'm saying, Brandy and I, man, there were we had our top ramen days in our marriage. Let me tell you, that we we and we had the work. I was working two jobs. Brandy was doing two things. You know, it like we understand. That's why our course material is set up so that way you guys can have these classes in the early morning or late at night or at lunch break. You might not get to have lunch with Bob, you know, or you might miss a conversation with Carol on break, but you're doing your class. You know what I mean? You're doing your course when you can. You're getting it when you can. And it's just going to be tough for a little bit. No one says it's easy. And if it was easy, everybody would have this dang thing. Right? Everybody would have it. And then it would be nothing. 
We don't want it to be nothing. This is something. This is something special and it's important and it is something that has to be taken serious. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult. I know there's a ton of you on here that probably has a life license. It's not the same. I know there's some people on here that already have degrees. I don't care. I'm telling you, this is a whole different ball of wax. It's different. And I'm not trying to scare you. I just want you to pay attention to it. I want you to stay consistent with it. I want you to have respect for it. Does that make sense? And you got to just stay in it. And it'll make it easier, little bit by little bit. I'd rather have you take small steps than to stop because you feel like you need to take large leaps every time because you take days off. That makes it really difficult. Little steps, driving 25 miles an hour to a destination is better than stopping off. And then, and then trying to go 100 miles an hour and then getting stuck and getting frustrated, possibly getting an accident, right? That's when things happen. But if you just drove, go slow and steady and just get there, that's better than nothing. You'll get there. Trust me. You'll get there. So mm -hmm. as this weekend gets in there, and I know I'm like charging you guys up a little bit. Because I know what happens every time this weekend comes around or anytime there's a holiday or anytime there's anything, we tend to just go lax on things that are important. And then we regret it on Monday. It's like almost like a, a hangover on Monday. You're like, oh my gosh, why did I take so many days off? Why did I even do that? So it wasn't worth it to go to that, my brother-in-law's house. Oh my gosh, I wish I'd have stayed home. You know what I mean? I wish I would have studied. I wish I would have done something else besides that. I, won't, I always want to gear you up. The next thing is, if you know it's going to be busy, you know how it's going to be, get your studying done early in the day. Just be done and over with it. Just be done. Right? Some of y'all are going to get up at like six in the morning and go put a bird in the oven. While you do that, go grab an hour of study while you're just sitting there waiting for that bird or whatever. Or while you're preparing it, have a video going on in the background. Just listen. Just listen to it while you're doing your stuff. That's a study session. You're listening to it. You're getting in there. Nobody's probably even awake. We know that the, like the family always says, I'll help with Thanksgiving. And then you're on your own in the kitchen at six in the morning, right? Grab a video. It's perfect timing. Get your coffee. Do what you got to do. Grab your session. Guess what? And then when everything's all crazy and chaotic, you're already done. You're already done. You can have the rest of the day. One to two hours. Try to do that this weekend. I challenge you. That's it. Just get it done and over with early. Then be done. That's it. Right? Mm -hmm. All right. And if you want to get involved in some of our program and you're like, yeah, I'd like to check out your course material. I'm, I am that busy person. I am that person that wants to take advantage of what you guys got going in December, where we're going to do a lot of test taking techniques. We're going to do a step. We're going to do a real, a real review. I know a lot of people call them a weekend review. Dude, I cannot do those weekend reviews. I don't believe in them. Brandy doesn't believe in them. But what we do believe in is a couple hours of content an hour of techniques, an hour of question and answer. And we'll be doing that next month in our members and our Zooms. Uh, so if you're not on our program, this is our free. This is our 30 minutes of free. And look, if you can't afford it and you can't do that, that's fine. Take advantage of all the free. I got all this stuff on YouTube. I got replays on YouTube. I got YouTube. I got replays on Telegram, Facebook. I got these replays on Patreon, Discord. You can take advantage of all our free. Someone was just saying that to me the other day. They're like, I, you know, I'm kind of like, you know, up against it right now, but I want to be, you know, studying with you guys. What do you suggest? I'm like, hey, if you can do the $20 study guide and you can get on our discord and watch the brews, look, search up stuff on there, do that. You're going to have to do other resources, but take advantage of what we got. We got a lot of stuff that's free and we don't bar people from using our free community. No, that's for sure. Take advantage of what we got. You know what I mean? So a real review, R-E-A-L review. Yeah, a real one. Uh, I hate it when people call them reviews when it's really just like we're going to take 20 hours to like just read content to you from another book that we didn't write. I hate that. I'm like, dude, I could have just read this book on my own. Right. I want to have like real content, real specific topics, real things that you guys want to like need to know and what you don't need to know. That's what I want to do. Like you already been studying. You're going to go take the test. Here's a nice little session to get you ready. That's what we're going to be doing. So we're going to have that in December. So study guides are available, SIE663, $20 each. Like I said, we got a QR code there. Scan that. We have an orientation, explains all the program that we have in that link. Check it out. Check out our membership on the Patreon uh, and just get started with us. Uh, look for that email. Uh, I'm telling you guys, I know it's a little, it's a little fee, but you know what? 
I was out today and I was like, son of a biscuit. I'm just making mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving. We're less than that. I went and bought McDonald's for the kids the other day. I'm like, dude, we offer stuff that's less than that. Everything's like crazy. I, I joke, but I'm like, dude, remember when $200 worth of groceries used to fit in the back of your trunk of your car? And it was like saying something. Now you can put it in the front seat. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, but, uh, we, we have stuff. It's, I, it, it's pretty economical for what you guys get after you get licensed. And if we get to the point, we have like all this material where you can use anytime. It's very easy in language. Uh, some of our programs come with tutoring and study guides already included. So check out all the options, uh, there on, um, on that, uh, code. So, all right. 866 Hey Kona is my phone number. If you text me there, I'll have to call you back. I do not have text back on that right now. So if you want to text me, if you love the texting, go to the Instagram, go to Telegram, go to Patreon, go to Discord. Any of those things work for me. I'll text you back. But if you call me or if you leave me a text on the phone number, I'm going to call you back like as if I was 74, uh, you know, and I don't know how texting works. Uh, my mom does this to me all the time. So I'm like, mom, I texted you. She's like, yeah, I'm calling you back. I don't text. I'm like, all right. Noted. I'll just I'll just text you when I can take a phone call. So anyways. So I'll have to call you back just to be aware. I know that bothers some people. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Just a reminder, we do not have the studying brew tomorrow. We do not have the live sessions tomorrow and we do not have them on Friday. We will ba be back on Sunday. So be sure to get your study in. Use all the stuff in the archives that we got on Patreon or if you're doing the free Discord or wherever you can find us, take advantage. Check out our YouTube. We got a ton of stuff over there. We got shorts. We got all kinds of stuff. So check out all the stuff that we have available. Get yourself binge, binge out on binge. some stuff that's not on Netflix. Binge out, binge out on some Kona. That's right. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Binge out and study, right? Mm -hmm. With it. Yeah. Anyways. All right, everybody. When someone gives me, oh, this is the this is the fun stuff. If you're not following me on Instagram, well, it's not up there yet. But when they give me a picture and they do let me know, I add another one to the Kona Hall of Fame. And guess what, Brandy? What? We got a password. Yes, we do. We go to Paso. Congratulations. Uh, just came in under the wire. Com congratulations to Camilla uh, Kowalska, I want to say. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm sorry if I messed up your last name. But Camilla passed her SIE. She got it done. Uh, she said, I passed my SIE, guys. Woo! Uh, first attempt, and I was studying with your method. My biggest improvement in scores was when I realized I was not reading the questions well enough. So paying more attention to the questions, reading them twice if needed. Also writing the content I got wrong by uh, um, writing the content I got wrong by hand to memorize. Thank you. I'm on to the six. Spoken like a true Kona. That's right. Yeah, why write? Why wrong? Right. Write it out. Mm -hmm. That's how we retain. You got to figure out if that works for you and that worked for her on getting this. Keep that keep that same method as you go forward into the six. And congratulations, first attempt, got it done and got in. Look, she said it perfectly. It's not just about the content. Once you stop focusing on so much dang content and realize you need cone in your life and learn how to read these questions. It's so much easier. Oh, my gosh, guys. It's not about just looking for the content and forcing the content. The question. Sometimes we've been on this earth so dang long, right? We've been on it long enough. We can answer some of this stuff with just common sense. We're like, no, nah, I can't be that because. Why would I be studying? Right? Right. Yeah, no, that's the answer. I promise you. They want you to think, you know, have you th uh, question yourself and get it wrong. That's why we teach you guys the stuff we do. Congratulations on getting this done. What do you want to add, Brandy? That's it? That's it. That's it. That's All it. Right. Well spoken, Brandy. Thank you. Congratulations <laughs> again, Camilla. I can't wait to hear from you. And uh, let's go. On to the six. And on a pastor. SIE. We are on an SIE roll. That's right. Oh, man. We got like eight of them in like the like last few days. So nice. it's been nice. All right. If you're that person and you're like, yeah, 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 whatever, Camilla. I'm all about me. Let's get my pass notice. That's what I like. Look, it's all about you. I want you guys to get your pass notice. So let's get on to the lesson. What do we got tonight, Brandy? We're going to do some content tonight. Yes, we we're are. We're going to do a little bit of content, a little bit of taste. Like like as if we were seized candy and you walked in, we're going to give you this free truffle of information. It's going to be easy. I promise you. You want to get ready, write your notes, but we're going to go back to the basics. We're going to talk about the acts. That's right. The acts. Mm -hmm. 
Act one, two, and three. 33, 34. No. 40. See what I did there? Yeah. I see what you did. All right. All right, so guys. What do you got, Brandy? All right. So this came from this particular question that was posted. Shout out, Sally. Uh, yes. On the Discord. Yes. Yes. So, you know, we're just, even though, guys, even though we know the answer is C, let's look, right? Let's still look. And it says, uh, A says the SEC review of new issue, uh, new issue filing must always be longer than 20 days. Uh, underwriters are permitted to accept orders for securities during the SEC review period. Uh, that's no. A, yeah, it's a lot of words too. No, because we're in review, right? Right. Does that make sense? Like we're in review. How can you take, how can you accept an order if you're still reviewing? Yeah, it's not it's not a thing yet. How can you already right, right. accept orders? We don't even know if you can. Exactly. The Securities Act of 1933 provides criminal penalties for fraud. Simple. Simple. And then registration be become effective. Registrations become effective within 10 business days of the SEC filing. Um, again, we got 10 and we just got 10. Okay. So there's no, to me, there's no opposites right yeah there's a um, true pattern here there's no true pattern but we are looking at the fact that c is probably the most simple thing up there because it's just a blanket i mean it's just a statement boom 33 criminal penalties for fraud okay uh regarding the issue but sometimes these laws are about as simple as you know the 10 commandments right thou shall not kill simple yeah there's no there's no gray area there's no if and when this happens, then you can. And then on this situation, you can't. No, it just says it plain and simple. That's it. You can't. That's it. No fraud. That's it. No fraud. No fraud. Period. Simple. Yeah. Uh, regarding the issuance of new securities to the public, which of the following is true? So the idea here, guys, is issuance, new securities, true, right? Guys, usually when you are looking at the true statements, you want to go as simple as possible. The more complicated it gets is usually not the answer. The more BS it is. Yeah. So that led me to the conversation in my head to, you know, we talk about the acts in 19, I mean, 1933. We talk about the acts in the SIE. It's referred to, if not tested, in every single exam. Every single exam. And what tends to happen sometimes is when people get to the 63, they get to the 26, they, the 65, like the, the exams that, you know, the 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 next exams. Yeah. They go, man, what was the 1933 act? They get them all confused with yeah. 33 and 34 and 40. So even though this is a basic topic, it's one that needs to be revisited often. All right. Let's tackle 33 and 34 It first. needs to be tackled in the fact that it needs to be, you just keep it simpler. Yes. How to remember them. How do you keep them straight? And guys, this isn't a history exam. So you guys remember back in history class where it would tell you like um, it would go blank war of 1912. I think that was war, right? You're the history person. And it would say blank war. Like this would be the same I'm thing. change that to 1812. Okay. No, no, this is actually perfect. Thank oh, okay, you. perfect. Yeah. See, I did that on purpose. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. And, and they do this to you, right. And this is the same war, right. It's the same, same war and they do this. Right. And, and that was our history class back then. Right. And that's how we had, and like, it was like, we really had to memorize the years and we really had to memorize what went, what went, what went with that year. Holy moly. Right. So, I promise you guys, it's not like that here. What I mean by that is that you're not going to see the Securities Act of 1933 and the Securities Act, sorry, I'm running sloppy, of 1934. You won't see that and have to pick one of those. Does that make sense, guys? You're saying they won't put both of them up on the screen. Correct. So for me... What has helped me the is... The question will either be about 1933 or the question will be about 1934. Right. They won't say... They won't mix and match. They won't say this happened and which one. Right. They, they, they won't mix and match titles and years to confuse you. You just need to know the year and what happened in that year. That's it. 
they so what i'm trying to say is keep it simple all right guys so 33 come if we look at a number line 33 comes before 34 right yes so this comes first yes i'm familiar with how time works okay you say that but this works watch we're going to relate this this comes second right yes 34 is the secondary market <gasps> See, I told I see you what you did there. See what I did there? And what what's first? Primary. Primary market? Yeah. I feel like I'm on Mr. Rogers right now. Okay. Okay. Now check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Right? Now you have to be new before you can trade. There you, you go. There? See what we're doing here? This is a way to remember this stuff. I know there's a lot of you go, I can't keep all the stuff. I'm like, I have a hard time retaining. This is how we make it so we can retain this stuff. Right. Um, you guys also might see this as new issues. Same thing. Same thing. New securities, new issues, whatever. Now, check this out, too. Now, you can remember this one of two ways. Okay. You could do, um, this is the paper act and alphabetically paper comes before people. Right. Alphabetically. P-A. And PE, right? Right. Or you can also say that you have to have, like, let's say a so job. So when you say paper, like a law, like something that was written into law, that's what she means by paper. Right. They they call this the Paper Act, and it is in it is like this. They call 1933 the Paper Act because this is the registration, which right. is done um, on paper. On paper, or at least it used to. Right. right. Um, it's also the paper act because do you guys know that at once upon a time securities were actually printed on paper? <laughs> they were. And do you, like uh do you know the fun fact? Uh margins, when we talk about margins, it's literally the loans that were written in the margins of the paper. Because guys, everything was kept in a handwritten book, ledgers, blotters, those were all handwritten back in the day. So when we say margins, those were literally written in, in the, the margin. margin. Yes. And prospectuses are printed on paper. Paper. See, See? all the paper? See, 1933 Paper Act, first issue, primary, any, any, those are all the words associated with 1933. The way I like to look at it is how can you have people before paper? Yeah, you can't hire somebody if they don't know what they're doing. It's like hiring people and you have people show up to a job and they go, okay, what's my job? And you're like, I don't know. I haven't written it out yet. Right. So you got to have the paper before you have the people that's exactly what happened by the way we had a we had all of these rules and then in 1934 we said we need to put people in it so we created the sec because that's why a board that's because it's people yeah right we are going to regulate the um, broker dealers and the agents we need people in windbreakers walking around <laughs> and making sure that these people are following the paper acts. We, right? We're going to regulate the exchanges because exchanges have to do with trading. So this is the exchanges like the New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ. And we're also going to regulate the over-the-counter market or the OTC. It's like football. We got football tomorrow, right? Yes, we do. Thanksgiving football, okay. right? Mm -hmm. You got to have the rules in place before those umpires, those uh, refs can enforce any kind of rule, right? Mm -hmm. But we need them, but we need them after the rules are already set in place. And then we need them on the field, making sure all the plays are done right. Right. Making sure all the trades are done right. Making mm -hmm. sure everything's supervised. But they got to have the rules first. Exactly. See, guys? So that's how you can remember that. Okay. Now, if you guys notice when I le uh, when I talked about people, I left off investment advisors. Yeah, where's that at? Well, because they decided, like, man, some people are getting paid to like just give advice to give advice. That's weird, and they're not actually licensed to do anything, right? So we need to regulate them. Oh, we need to have them licensed. So six years later, introduced 1940, and we're going to call this one the Investment Advisors Act. Do you know the one of the reasons why they have the Investment Advisor Act is because of a guy named Arnold Rothstein. And if you don't know who Arnold Rothstein is, he's the one that uh, fixed the World Series. The Black Sox, they called him. Same guy. He used to get paid to go ahead and give advice 
on trades and market, and he was doing a lot of fraudulent stuff. And they couldn't really prosecute him because there's no rule that you can't give advice because he wasn't doing the trades himself. He was just advising. Hmm. He was doing a workaround. Fun fact. Don't worry, guys. You don't need to write. You don't need to know any of that. No. <laughs> Hence why it's a fun fact. It is a fun fact. That is interesting. Right. So you get paid for advice. Right. That's exactly what 1940 does. Right. They said, you know what? And and this is when you have to register with the SEC. Now, do all investment advisors register with the SEC? No. Some of them do register at the state, but that's it. That's the 63. <laughs> that's the 63, 65 and 66. So you're going to register with the SEC. And this is also going to regulate investment advisor representatives, which are the human or the individual behind the investment advisors. Okay, so that's 1940. But you notice, guys, I wrote another 1940 up there. And that's because this is the Investment Company Act. Now, does that sound like a human? No. Does that sound like advice? Exactly. And that's not advice. So in 1940, they also noticed that people were gathering other people's money and said, hey, why don't Andy, you give me money? And Johnny, you give me money, money, and Tim, you give me money, and I'll pull all your money together, and I'll go buy securities for you, and then, and then maybe I'll share that securities for with you. I don't, I, you know, I probably should. That's it's what like I'm going to tell you. It's like buying a lottery ticket for the company. It's like the group lotto ticket things. Everybody puts in their dollar, and right? And when we win, we'll share. Exactly. So in 1940, they said we better put some regulation around this because there's no rules. Because some people weren't sharing either. Right. So this is the face amount certificates, the unit investment trusts, and the management investment companies, also known as management investment companies, also known as mutual funds and closed-end funds. So we have our open end and our, that's what you're called, mutual funds. And then we have our closed end. Close end, which is our publicly traded. Now, that being said, publicly traded, um, we recognize three different investment companies. Yes, I know that there's four listed, but that's okay. Note that there's four listed, but there's only three face amount certificates, unit investment trust, and management investment companies. Can't tell you why, but I'm just saying. That's the only three you need to worry about. Right. And then just an honorary honorary mentions, right? These are just honorary mentions. In 1939, they decided to have the Maloney Act. I think, I think this is the one. The Maloney this is Act. no Maloney. Wait. Okay. I don't know the year. <laughs> well, wait, hold on. I think 1939 is the Trust and Denture Act. See, guys. That's how much you don't need to know. Exactly. Um, this is for bonds. Okay. Um, and then you guys might see the Maloney Act. And this is saying like, hey, SEC, you're getting like, you're being stretched too thin. So let's go ahead and create some SROs. 1938. What, the Maloney Act? Yes. 1938, right? But the other one that you guys might see. I see a 34 on it too. Oh, whatever. Go ahead, continue. Is uh, the 1956 Uniform Securities Act. The Uniform Securities Act. I remember some, somebody was studying for the 63 and they were like, what's the 1956 Uniform Securities Act? <laughs> yes, guys, that is um, our state regulation, also called our blue skies. Blue skies coming at me. So Maloney Act was about the over-the-counter market? That's part of them. Yeah. Part of it, yeah. Uh, blue skies and then like you guys will see 91 don't be calling people at 8 p.m or don't be calling people at 9 p.m and then they also um there's like the 71 74 which is your you guys don't need to know those you guys might see them in your questions but pro- i promise you guys they'll they'll say other words to allude to the fact you don't have to memorize years so 34 i mean 1933 New issues, primary market, 34, secondary market, trading, people, uh, 40, investment advisors. If you get paid for advice, boom, you have to register. If you are pooling people's money, you got to register with SEC under the Investment Company Act. And then these are just some randoms. Right. There you go. And these randoms 
obviously aren't that heavily tested. <laughs> no, they're not. So I wouldn't even stress. No, you guys might see them in your quizzes, but you, it, they're not really tested. Just those first four. As far as we know, they're not really tested. We can't tell you for sure because that exam is not compromised. Correct. I have to be careful in saying that. Yes. So there you go, everybody. Uh, what, do you, what do you say? I mean, for the price of your internet, you got some easy breakdowns on some of the acts. Look, guys, don't make this thing more difficult. Make it easier by just staying consistent. If you're using us, like just guys, studying brews, we have some of these contents on there uh, on our replays. Go check them out. Get the easy part of it. You know, get the just what you need to look at. That's why we have our study guides the way they are. Just make sure that you're just looking at the things that you need to study and forgetting all the rest. Guys, it doesn't. You just got to make it easy on yourself. Yeah. Don't make it more difficult mm -hmm. than it is. Don't stress yourself out. And if you have any confusion, reach out on the discord. That's where it's there. Ask the community. Say, hey, I don't know. This has got me crazy. I don't know if I'm studying the right thing. I don't know if this is making sense to me. This question's got me messed up. Guys, that's why we have that community over there. So you can ask those questions and just make sure that you don't lose your mind while you're through this. It's not going to be that difficult. We're there to help you out. Join the community if you haven't. And uh, we'll see you guys. Yes. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Happy and Thanksgiving. I, I like to say this before every holiday. Make sure that you guys do not drive under the influence. No. Do not. Besides the life factor, it's not worth it. But also, it can stop you from getting your license as well. Because if you have a felony DUI, you automatically get disqualified. So just so you know, it's not worth it. This day and age, it's not worth taking the life. It's not worth it all. Be safe. Please be safe out there. Take care of yourselves, right? Mm -hmm. Stay safe out there. Take care of yourself. Make sure to wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your franchise. That's all I know. Keep that positive mental attitude. PMA, everybody. Have a great night and a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you guys so much for being on and being on with us on Thanksgiving Eve. Guys, don't forget those quick quizzes through the weekend and through the holiday. We're so entirely grateful for you guys. Have a great weekend.